Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. This episode is part three, the final part of a brief series where we follow the development of an eastern yellow jacket ground nest, or Vespula maculifrons, that was removed from the front yard of a local residence on July 26 of 2023 and successfully relocated into a special glass habitat that we set up above ground and we put it outside where the wasps could rebuild their nest. The wasps were allowed to live free range where they continued to support the nest by foraging in the wild for nest building material and hunting for insect protein for their developing larvae and pupae. This series proves that cavity dwelling yellow jacket species like the eastern yellow jacket that typically nest underground or in a structural cavity in a building can be successfully relocated into captivity above ground by simply simulating a dark cavity environment inside a controlled artificial habitat. In this way, the beneficial wasp species that we remove for clients can be allowed to survive and thrive in the local ecosystem well beyond the date they're removed, and they have the ability to adapt very readily to a very unnatural setting. This helps the natural balance of the biodiversity in the environment and also allows more wasp pupae to incubate into the adult form of the wasp when they can be collected for venom immunotherapy, or VIT. You can check out parts one and two at the links in the description. Now let's take you back to August 2023 for part three. It's August 20th, 2023, and behind me, we have a couple of different nests that were Eastern Yellow Jacket ground nests that we dug up with the Manchester University Wasp Survey team. And these nests are now above ground in captive environments. And the experiment here was, can you take a ground nest that, that dwells in cavities underneath the ground, bring it up into a habitat that we prepare for it and see if it'll still be viable. So we took this nest, the one on the left, and we put it inside a glass habitat, just the comb brood. We had pulled all the paper, the outside envelope off of the nest, and we put just the brood, the comb brood, into the glass habitat and we covered it with cardboard. Since that time, we've seen them completely rebuild the paper envelope all the way around those brood comb pieces. So that now it's a functional nest again, totally covered up, and they've been coming in and out foraging like usual as they would as if it were underground. Now what's interesting here is we oriented the nest upside down. We left the comb brood open cells facing up so that the nest itself was easier to film and we could observe it easier and watch it develop. So we're going to take a look at the one on the left first. Before we disturb it, we're going to show you what it looks like in here. You see how they completely recovered the comb in paper. With two more open combs we did the same thing with and we're going to look at those and see how they've done as well. But first we're going to pull this one up. Take a look at that. This is the inside of a nest. And they're not happy with me now. They're going to attack. That's the inner working of this nest. Very interesting to see that. Now I'm being attacked pretty readily. They're all over my gloves. They're trying to get me. So you never want to do this without protection. I'm being stung repeatedly, and the only reason I can't feel that is because my gloves are protecting me. This species is super aggressive when they get bothered. So we're just going to look at this temporarily, and then let them go back to work. But they've done a great job rebuilding this nest in a very unnatural situation where the comb is pointing upwards and they're in a habitat that is not the original location they started in underground. Put 
put this back now and let them settle down. They are pretty upset with me. <laughs> Beautiful paper, all creams and browns, tans, gorgeous. I love the way Maculifrons, the Eastern Yellow Jacket, does paper. It's always that sort of browny, tanny, cream tones, earth tones. Just beautiful. So very interesting to see how they're working this nest. show you more of this nest later after it develops further into the season for now we're going to give these guys a break because they're a little stirred up this time we're going to go into the right side box there you go they rebuilt that comb structure as well Turned it into quite a functional looking nest. Boy, they are not happy with me at all. So I'm being sworn pretty heavily. Without this suit, I would be in serious trouble. So don't do this without a suit. But this is the one that went and became a viable nest again right here. They put quite a bit of paper in there. And, uh, this one, it didn't take. It looks to me like they abandoned this nest but there's still some activity there, some pupa, but they did not cover it in paper like they did with the other side. So maybe the queen ended up on this side and the queen likely abandoned that side, but clearly there's still pupa there. Now, as you can see, they're in full attack mode and that's okay. As long as your gloves are able to handle that, that's no problem. But, without a suit, I would be in serious trouble. So let's close these back up and let them get back to work.
we have caused quite a swarm here. So they're definitely interested in attacking me, doing exactly what they're supposed to do to survive in nature. Attack the predators, run them off, so that the brood can survive. saw this coming at you, a giant monster, you'd want to attack too. So here we're jumping forward about 10 days in time. We're at August 30th, 2023. And as you can see, most of the activity had settled down by now. There was not many more live wasps visible from this point. There may well be some live larvae or live pupating wasps inside the cells inside the nest. However, we didn't want to expose that because we wanted to leave the paper intact for this particular nest so we could use it as a specimen for speaking engagements and for training purposes. It's just a great example of how adaptable this species can be if given the chance. Pulled out of the ground, their nest was flipped over, the paper was removed, but they were able to rebuild the paper, learn to live inside an unnatural habitat, and pupate out a bunch more wasps. That is pretty remarkable survival. Mm -hmm.